Rip currents are currents of water flowing out to sea. They are formed as breaking waves push water towards the land. Sometimes too much water collects in one area and needs to find a way back out to sea. Rip currents can be difficult to spot from shore. Sometimes they can be identified by a break in the wave pattern or a line of foam, sandy or discoloured water moving steadily seaward. The best way to avoid rip currents is to swim in the swim zone. So breaking waves push water towards the land. The excess water flows together and searches for a place where it can flow back out to sea. This excess water is called feeder currents. When it finds a space, the feeder currents flow out in a tight current. This is called the neck of the rip, where the flow is most rapid. When the current reaches beyond the line of breaking waves, the flow loses power and dissipates at the head of the rip. If you feel like you have been caught in a rip current, don't try and swim against it and don't panic. You now know the flow will eventually dissipate. Escape the rip current by swimming parallel to shore and getting out of the flow of the current. If needed, raise your hand above your head and call out for help. If you are panicked, focus on floating, like a starfish. Arms stretched out wide, legs open and push your belly button up to the surface. Look up to the sky and focus on regaining breathing control.